Hi, welcome to the Artful Traveler. This is Julie, and we are right now in a national forest, which is the first time we've ever been camping at a national forest, and it is pretty beautiful. It's, um, we are snuggled in here in the trees, and it's very peaceful, very quiet. Um, the only thing we have to do is watch out for black bears. But today, what I want to talk about actually is um, the wild cotton balls we saw, the cotton fields and the cotton balls we saw when we were traveling from the panhandle of Florida up to Georgia for Thanksgiving. And we drove through um, Alabama and Georgia and saw these huge fields of wild cotton. And I was just, you know, amazed. So I thought, let's paint a picture of wild cotton balls. I've done some in the past, and so I thought it would just be a great lesson to, um, to do today. So let's get started. So we'll start off the way we usually do, using a Prismacolor pencil to roughly sketch in the composition. I'm gonna think about where the cotton balls are gonna be positioned on the page. Now I'll add more detail, adding stems and some of the pods that wrap around. I think it'd be good if you don't really understand what a cotton ball looks like to have some reference at this point. I've drawn a few and so I kind of have a feel for it. Before we begin to paint, it's important to mask off the cotton balls with masking fluid. Once this is dry, we can paint in the background and the stems without worrying about the paint going into our white areas. For the background, I want to use some alcohol and this color, which is a very pale aqua, and I want to dilute it. So I'm going to just put some of the aqua into the alcohol in order to make a nice soft color. I want the background to be very muted. Since we masked off the cotton balls, I don't really have to worry about the color going into the balls, so I can just freely add a bunch of ink to the background and kind of blend it and move it around. It kind of takes the pressure off. Once the ink's on, I can tilt the page and drip some of it off and just try to get this nice misty blue background. Now I decide to add some lines in the background. I want some kind of soft, wispy clouds. Using a straw, I'm gonna blow on these lines. This really helps it look more like clouds. I'm pretty happy with the background we have going on. I think it's interesting. So now it's time to use a rubber cement pickup and remove the masking fluid from our white cotton balls. Time to mix up some paint for our, ooh, I almost sprayed that over the painting for our stems and so we're going to use teak wood, espresso, oregano. I also have some really pretty colors on my palette already.
using a very thin brush and almost pure ink, not a lot of alcohol so it won't spread, I start to put in the stems and the pods that uh, kind of break open around the cotton ball. As I'm doing this, I'm varying the color from a green brown to a cool brown to a real red, and just trying to create some interest and some variety within this brown. Now using a very, very pale, almost pure alcohol, I'm adding in some definition to those cotton balls. So just try to give it that fluffy look. I like the lavender in here. I think that was a good addition, marrying with the aqua. Even here I added a little yellow. Now it's time to get out the Copic markers and to add some detail with some line work and to really start to bring this painting together. I decided to add a whole bunch of little dots in order to create some more definition to the cotton balls. But here what I'm going to do so they don't just look like little dots, I'm going to use a little alcohol to blend those in. Oh, I think this is making a world of difference. Now it really is looking interesting. I want to deepen in my shadow area, so I pick up a black marker with a very thin tip, and I'm going in under where it's just going to be the shadow areas to create a little more contrast next to that white of the cotton ball. I think every painting needs a little bling, so I'm going to splatter some metallic, beautiful gold into the background. I do this often on a lot of my paintings. I just think it adds a little bit to it. I'm also going to add a little gold highlight here and there to the pods and the stem. All right, I am really loving the top of this. Now I think we have to kind of have this set in the bottom. We need a little bit of a landscape down here at the bottom. So let's work on that. happy with this painting. I'm just going to add a few little bit of thin lines and I would say this is pretty complete. 
That was a blast. We are headed to Savannah next, and I think I'm gonna go back to watercolor. But leave comments. Would you like to see more alcohol ink? Do you want me to keep doing mixed media, watercolor, different things like that? Love to hear from you. And don't forget, subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. All right, take care. Bye.